Okay, old man, go up the ladder. The ladder is in the hallway. It's a nice prefab metal ladder. I like these. This ladder access panel has not been insulated. Okay, so this is like a big heat sink. It's a hole in your roof right here. We come up here a little farther. And what we're looking at is the ladder framing has been put in with drywall screws instead of nails. Okay. If you read the ladder instructions, it says it's supposed to be a minimum of eight penny nails. Screws are faster, screws are tighter. I get that. Screws do not have the same shear strength, especially drywall screws. They do not have the same shear strength as nails. They snap and they break quicker. Nails stay in place harder. You ever try to tear apart a tree house? Okay, man, you can't get that thing apart after those kids nail that thing together. So, like right here, our framing brackets, our hanger brackets in the corners, those are nails. Those same nails, the same type of nails, should have been used here. We're coming up into our attic. And this is kind of interesting. This is the video after the roof. So I'm looking for roofing clues and attic clues. All right, our water heater is located up here. That's a good thing. Our furnace is located up here. We're going to have different videos for that. It'd be nice if this switch said light on it. But it is. Let there be. And we've got a depth marker right there. Insulation depth marker laying over on its side. That's not going to do us any good. You can't measure the depth of the insulation horizontally. It just doesn't work like that. Okay, this is radiant panel OSB. And see these boards going crossways? That's lath. That's the original roof. Originally, this was... Originally, this was a wood shingle roof. And we come over here, and originally there probably wasn't in any insulation. Over there, look, 12 inches. Okay, so we got about 12 inches in places. I don't think we got 12 inches here. Now see that light can right over there, that canister light? You get a telephoto on this. Okay, this is the rule of thumb. I could be wrong. I'm allowed. Insulation should not be about 3 inches away from that white canister ceiling light. And it should have a box built over it so that you don't lose your insulation. So what's happening is that insulation is too close to that light. That light will overheat and cycle on and off. Alright. See these trails? <laughs> now, see this trail over here going to that light? People made that trail. Alright. You can almost imagine the feet. Maybe Bigfoot made it. I don't know. I've heard rumors. But see these little trails here? See that little hole right there? People didn't make those trails. Mice made those trails. They sure did. Little mice made those trails. Okay, there's a vent for the bathroom vent. Okay. Now I'm looking. That's a closed door as a vent for the um, primary bedroom suite vent right there and that is a vent for the clothes dryer the clothes dryer vent has a screen on it process of elimination we got the wrong kind wrong kind of vent cap for the clothes dryer all right coming on along somebody's come in here and added this is nice somebody's come along and beefed up the purlin system added stiffeners this is good this is good and i can see the, the vents the ridge beam vents, the vents that I was talking about, I can see that. All right, you know what I don't see? I don't see any air intake. Look, it's it's like 70 degrees outside and it is hot in here. All right, this attic is just building some heat. You need to get some air circulation in here. This attic is not properly ventilated. It's not properly ventilated. Now I'm going to go over here just a little bit. Just a, little, just a little bit, just talk, because uh, I can't help it. I'm a talker. All right. See that ridge beam that's coming up there? And see that board that's flat across the top? That's called palm bracing. That's a production builder technique. 
A lot of home inspectors get upset about palm bracing. Palm bracing, palm bracing. There's nothing wrong with palm bracing. I, mean, I don't know. But the code doesn't say there's anything wrong with it. The code says as long as you're transferring the load that that's sufficient. And then every once in a while you get a home inspector who thinks he's an engineer. Sometimes I sound like that. You go, well, what about uplift? What about uplift? Well, that's what all these purlins are for. And then it, all the rafter that ties into the house, that's, that's all your uplift. But that, that, that has nothing to do with uplift. Even if it was measured properly and you didn't have a palm brace, it, no, it's fine. Palm bracing is fine. So if you buy this house and you sell it later and some wise acre home inspector comes in, you can out talk him. You can out talk him. So what do we learn? We learned that we got mice in our attic. We learned that we got about 12 inches of insulation. We learned that we do not have air, any air intake. We learned that we got insulation too close to white canister lights. And, you know, just for the sake of um, multitasking, for the sake of multitasking here, we've got um, a clothes dryer vent that has a screen on it, the wrong, wrong type of vent. So.